Hello and welcome to the channel. In the previous video of this mini series to see how to compare everything in Excel, we've seen how to compare workbooks and worksheets. So basically how to compare two workbooks, two or more workbooks and two or more worksheets. In this video, and this is the last one, we're going to see how to compare two data sets or two columns or two groups of cells with data. So as an example, I have here the data in two columns, but this could be actually whatever we want. It could be it could be just uh, a range um, spanning several columns being compared with another uh, a range spanning just one column or whatever. But usually the most common example is to compare two columns and these two columns are in the same worksheet, but they could be also in different worksheets or in separate workbooks as well. So we're going to see how to compare two data sets wherever they are in this video. Let's go now to the Visual Basic Editor in set a module and here I'm going to say compare two data sets and actually we're going to see how to compare two but it would be the same if we want to compare three or, or even more. So as we did in the previous videos we're going to declare two variables in this case because, because we're going to see the example of comparing two data sets and I'm going to call those RNG1 and RNG2, so range 1 and range 2 and of course it's going to be declared as a range object, so RNG2 as a range object. Now if the two data sets are in different worksheets or even in different workbooks, we would also have to declare WS1 and WS2 or even WB1 for workbook 1 and WB2 for workbook 2. But we've seen how to do that in the previous videos, so I'm going to assume you have seen those and you know how to do it. So here we will compare the two data sets in the same worksheet, so we don't need to refer, we don't need to reference any worksheet or workbook. It will just be in the active sheet of the active workbook. So now we need to set the data sets RNG1 to columns A in this case because we have the data in column A but we can also ask the user with application input box to select a range with data so in the title we can put data set 1 comma let me continue in the other line the prompt is going to be select a range with data and then the type it's going to be 8. That's the type for an input box to get a range as input. So now if we run this, you see we get um, an input box where we can actually add a range. I'm selecting now range A2 through A21 and that's been added here. So now we can click OK and that is stored in the variable RNG1. Now to avoid errors with this, we usually have error handling here on error, resume, next. Otherwise, if you click cancel, it's going to prompt an error. Or if you input something else, it's also going to prompt an error. So it's good to have error handling here. So we can do the same for RNG2, right? Or we could put that in a function as well. But to make it simple, I'm just going to put here RNG2. And we're going to ask the user to, to get the two data sets to be compared. And now we can, for each cell in, let's say we're going to take RNG2 as reference because that's the second data set. And now we're going to see if the value in each cell is in the other data set. So we're going to say set is in RNG1. And then in RNG1, we're going to find the cell value. Now if is in RNG1 is nothing, that means it doesn't exist in the other data sets. So then we can do a bunch of, of different things. The easiest thing is probably to highlight that value, changing the interior color, for example. And that would be cell interior color equals, for example, yellow. Right? We could also copy that value and, and move it to some other sheet or we could put it in an array so so we count the diffs for example differences plus one and then in diff and this is an array diffs 
uh, we're gonna get our cell value and, and we should declare, of course, this as an array. That, that would be, uh, that's how we would do it to, to put it in an array, but probably you rather wanna put it in the other worksheet. And again, you're gonna need some variable. So this equals this plus one. And then in the other worksheet, let's say you have a worksheet called divs, right, in cells, row, divs actually in column one, you're gonna, you're gonna put that cell value, for example, yeah, and then of course you would have to uh, get that, that divs um, worksheet. Now we can end the if statement here and go to the next cell. So what we've done here is just to compare if a value in this data set is or not in the other data set. Now, if we want to compare the other way around, we have to repeat this piece of code. But let's run it and see how it works for now. And by the way, I forgot to change here. That's gonna be data set two. So we will get two input boxes, the first one for data set one and the second for data set two. So let's run it. Now, this is the first input box. It's asking me for the data set one and it is this one here. Click OK, and now it's asking me for data set two, which is this other data set here. And now it has already looped through each cell. We don't see because it's behind that. And these are actually the two or three values which are not in this other list. So, so these are actually some new categories that have been added to the updated list of categories, for example. And we have also copied those here. So those are the new ones. Now, if you want to see which old categories have been removed, so now we need to loop for each cell in range one. So let me actually copy all of this. It's gonna be a similar loop uh, down here, but now we're gonna loop for each cell in range one and we're gonna get the variable is in range two. So if the range two find this cell value, and then if is in range two now, we need to change that to is nothing, then we're gonna change the color to yellow and we can add it to the other worksheet. Uh, for that, we need to change this variable or simply reset it here. So let's say divs equals zero here, and we didn't declare that, but that's um, gonna be a, an integer. And then we are going to add that in column two, okay? So now if, if we run the macro and uh, we um, get the data set one, which is this one here, and the other data set, which is this one here, as you see, it has already highlighted the values which are not in the new updated list of categories. So mobile phone and USB is not, are not in the new list. We have a smartphone, but we don't have mobile phone and we don't have USB anymore. Uh, well, that's just an example. It doesn't need to make sense. And as you see, we've seen, we've got also here in the second column, the two differences. And that's basically it. If if I put it like this, you can actually see the whole macro in um, in the screen, and it's just that it looks lo it looks long because we have two loops. Um, there's another way to do it with just one loop going through both. Um, check the other video. I'm gonna leave the link up here where I I did it with just one loop. But I think it's more self-explanatory. Um, using the two loops. So in the first one, we are looping through RNG2 or RNG1, it doesn't really matter. And then in the second, we are loop looping through the other range. So in this way, we are actually looping twice, which is not that efficient, programmatically speaking. So, so the other video where we compared two columns was actually more efficient. It was just one loop, but it was a bit more complicated. So I thought I would explain that in this other way so that you understand the concept and you can build and you can actually code whatever you need, right? And remember, we've decided to use this input box to get the, 
the range, but you could simply set range one to column A or whatever range you have. If you if you've got always a range of the same size, and then range two, uh, whatever you want. And of course, and if the range one is in one sheet and range two is in another sheet, you simply would go and say something like range one is in sheet one range whatever you know it can be in, in, in something in a range like that as well or sheet one columns A but then RNG2 could be in sheet two columns B or whatever okay so that's how we compare two data sets in Excel using VBA macros Thanks for watching.